everyone, I'm Amanda with Two Doves Nation. Ace and I are here in Oklahoma doing a poker work gig and we totally forgot that we didn't even do an outside walk around of our new RV. So here it goes. So if you're new to our channel, Ace and I just bought this new RV behind us. It is a Forest River Flagstaff Superlight 26 RLBS 2022. So it was brand new when we bought it, brand new to us. So our RV is like 29 and 29 feet and nine inches. So we basically say it's 30 feet long from tongue to bumper. And up front, it did come with an electric pitch jack. Thank goodness, because I love those. This one, it did come with a little special place to put your brake cord and your chains. I love it because now they're not on the ground, just willy-nilly. We also got the two larger propane tanks. I think it's the 30s. I get confused with the numbers, but they're the longer propane tanks. And it did come with two house batteries. It comes with the molded fiberglass front, and that is a window into our bedroom very tinted. Um, it does have shades and everything. <clears throat> and it also comes with a light up here. We don't have it turned on. But in route, our little cover came off for this. So we got to get that fixed. One of my favorite things, and I know it's kind of not a big thing, but it is the electric stabilization jacks. And you have one on each end. It, this one does the set on the back, and they go up and down at the touch of a button. Love it. Outside right here, too, is a hookup for one of the portable solar panels, like the briefcase or something. We do actually have solar up top, 130 watts, and we also have an inverter. So it's nice to know that if we want to go boondocking, we can still power our refrigerator because it's only a 12 volt. It's not a two-way, just a 12 volt fridge. On this side as well, the front side, we have the fresh water fill and there actually is fresh water drain right here. And the nice thing about that, it has the same kind of handle that you do for your gray and your black tanks. So it makes it pretty easy to drain your fresh water tank if you want to. We also have a huge awning that we guesstimate it's about 20 feet. It's almost the entire length of the trailer and it has lighting underneath it, which we really like at night to help it light up things up. Got the awning extended and it does have a pitch adjustment right here. So you can adjust to let the water run off and everything. The door uh, does have tension on it. So the wind can't really grab it and slam it either way. And it also has a little latch that you can latch it into place. One of the big things for Ace and I that was a big check mark off of our list were these um, spring assisted steps. We love these solid steps like this and it keeps the trailer from rocking so much when you're climbing into it, but they're super light and I can just do it one hand. We're still on the front side and one of the things that we liked about this rig is it did have windows on this side. There's one right here beside the door and then there is one where the kitchen counter is. But on the front here, you have speakers for the outside you have your light. You also have a hookup where you can put your TV out here. The one that's inside will come outside along with outlets and cable TV. This is a vent. Not really sure what the vent's for. And this is our heater vent. And we also have a vent hood. There's not much going on to the back here. We actually have our bikes just back here right now, but there is a 500 pound rated hitch. There is a spare tire. We also have an outdoor hot and cold shower. Huge window where our other seating is in the living area and a step ladder to go up on the fully walkable roof. This is the business side, and unfortunately where we're at, the campsites are a little tight, so it's gonna be a little hard to show you. But on this side, we do have our two slides. Our rig is a 50 amp 
if you wanted to have two air conditioners, it's made to be a 50 amp, but we actually only have one, so we can run it on a 30 amp outlet. We have also have a pressure regulator for our rig. We got one of the fancy ones with the dials, so we can tweak it a little bit more and get a little bit more pressure if we would like or need to. We also have a um, double filtration system. We have a filter outside and this rig came with its own filtration system inside. We have two gray tanks. So we have a gray tank for the kitchen and a gray tank for the shower and sink in the bathroom. So what we've had to do is get two stinky slinkies and kind of run them together so we don't have to be constantly emptying the gray tanks although we don't use as much as we did in some of our other rigs which i really like this is a space that's kind of in between the two slides and this is the hot water heater which is electric and gas we're currently running on electric because we're staying here for about a month this is also where your city water inlet is cable and TV and antifreeze inlet if you want to winterize. On each slide there is actually a storage compartment. One on the theater seating slide is kind of small and awkward. It kind of goes straight up but it's more space than what you think and then this one is the largest outdoor storage compartment. It actually goes underneath the bed and it's pretty big. Underneath our bed uh, well, our bed lifts up on hydraulics and it has drawers, but back behind the drawers is all the storage space for this compartment. Ace and I were very intentional when we purchased this rig. It is a lot bigger rig than we're used to. We've always had kind of teeny tiny rigs, but what with gas prices and everything, we wanted something that we could feel more comfortable living in and staying in placers for longer periods of time. If you're new to our channel, Ace and I actually live full time in our RV and we also travel poker dealers. So we wanted something that felt more like a regular home, not just an RV, but was still mobile enough that we could travel wherever we wanted to go. This is Amanda with Two Doves Nation reminding you to keep soaring to the end. Out.